key. I'm the extra lighter on the dress up. I know you need it. Smoking out the competition, pouring up. We undefeated. What you heard, what you heard, let you heard. We eating, talking by extra with a splash, extra acting bad. Pull it like parades on parades, extra with a slab. Pay what it call for the tail, extra with the bear. Young Chris, a king, better. Night beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Los Angeles Chargers. Season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. This defense for the Chiefs, they were terrific a week ago in that victory over Tampa Bay, Charles. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Again, it's Barkley, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. drive as they come up on a third and 12. Here's Herbert. And that's knocked away and incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Fielded just inside the 30. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of the 30. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. Up past the 30, second down coming up. So, Charles, you look at this offense, what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0 then lost five with six and went out in the first round. But I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time frame, and you're still doing this, that's when things start to get real for a ball club. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Throwing for his running back, and he's got it complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 45. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Pollard going to try the right side. And it's a room to maneuver. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. A gain of 16 yards, and the first down of the Chiefs. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. They'll run left with Pollard. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. 
A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed. They really want him to be that. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tony Pollard. His 104th career touchdown, one shy of Tim Brown on the all-time list. And the Chiefs put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And they have the game here followed by the open date on the calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are, but let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. On second and nine, Herbert, pass complete, George Pickens with it. Pass the 20! Touchdown, L.A. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards. So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one better than 20 miles an hour. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. And if you can build a bit of a cushion as you head towards the second part of the season, that allows you to survive the expected injuries, potential upset losses, all of those things, and still be in good shape. Play action, it's Mahomes. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. On first down, Mahomes. He'll buy some time right. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. They exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending that line is sometimes your receivers find their way open. But oftentimes, you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball. And that one was picked off. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he gets it down to the 32. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. The Chargers hit two and three here to begin the new season. They were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind and the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Herbert. And that is incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Up and good for Santoso. So that Charles, a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? The special teams coordinator, because he's the one who has to tell the head coach in pregame, this is where we trust him from. This distance, he can hit it. 
And he repaid that trust by knocking that one right through. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try to get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. They go play action. Now the Holmes. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Here's Mahomes to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down more the man in motion now on third and long they'll look to throw and he gets this to Thornton it'll be a pickup of 16 but they'll remain short of the marker and it's fourth down the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right, you get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Herbert rolling to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll give him a new set of downs. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator, and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to clear things with his legs makes things difficult. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply the offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. And Charles, that's now four interceptions over his last three halves of football, because remember, he threw three picks last week. Starting to wonder if maybe defenses and those coordinators have identified something on tape with what he's doing, maybe a movement. Maybe the way he's moving his shoulders. Who knows what it could be? He could have a few tells out there that they're keying in on and allowing defenses to get to the football a little bit. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. 
Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are. This team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control of that. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little more momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Marquise Bell. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Hey, Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sideline. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their own end zone, courtesy of the pick six. And Brandon, how often do we hear offenses tell us before a game they want to end every series with a kick, right? A punt, a PAT, or a field goal. In case of a defense, they wanted to end with a punt or a takeaway. And we saw the takeaway right there. And it turned out to be a takeaway that turned into six points. The Charger drive about to get going. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lead. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be shoved out, but not before he gets this down to the 20-yard line. A big play there for L.A. 55 yards. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure is good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let a man come open, and the connection leads to a big play. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Pardon, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Troy Anderson able to record his fifth sack of the season. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, They've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Up and good for Santoso. And that'll make this an eight-point game. So the three points there, and CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 22 yards there, a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Good drive by Jalen Johnson. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. When he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly. Interception. 
intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Troy Anderson able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something different. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. The second in the NFL in interceptions, and you understand why. He plays the game with great intelligence, understands positioning, and has a great ability to break on the football when it's in the air. So fun to watch his closing speed and another example of it on that play. On Herbert, his third interception. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. A nightmare of a first half for him. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go to the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But these are the situations that really tested defense, those sudden changes. They're already inside field goal range to start the possession. Their goal now, keep it to a long kick if indeed they end up trying one. More the man in motion. Throwing again on second and ten. Mahomes, a uh, quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here? They just drop everyone into coverage to crap the throwing lanes. Mahomes on third. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be stopped at the 27 yard line, well short of the first down marker. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Looking to throw is Mahomes. This pass complete to Pollard on the out route. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Mahomes throw into the hands here of Hardman. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs Tony touchdown. Pollard. Tony Pollard as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs will extend their lead here just before halftime. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Yep. 
Final 12 seconds of the half now as they've got it first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as he'll stop it well short of the yellow line. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember in that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Butker now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-hand blowout material. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 57 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Actually love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the Chargers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. And still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And, look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception They've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. The pitch goes to Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. They'll run for it with Barkley. 
Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Now a give here to Pollard. To about the 26 here. Down at the 26, second and seven. They fake the give. Now the Holmes. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else he did? He made your defense mad. Yeah. He got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. To throw, it's Mahomes. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. Mahomes throwing on fourth. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. I didn't like the play call. I loved it. Running situation for sure on fourth and short. They got the defense to commit too many men in the box to stop the run and have the guts to go for the pass instead. And as a result, they're set up first and goal. They try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Throwing now is Mahomes. Out left and complete to Thornton. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. going to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Touchdown! Tony Pollard with his third touchdown so far. Number 13 now on the year. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like Just people are starting to think about that. getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get Taking home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. And he's going to have to eat this. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, that they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and ten. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and ten right at the 50-yard line. Gets it quickly out wide to Thornton. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Complete to Taekwondo Hotel. One yard game brings up second and nine at 
the Chargers. On second and nine, Mahomes finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. Now here's Mahomes. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Thornton. And he's out of bounds, but not before a big pickup that time on what's going to wind up being the final play of the third quarter. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Yellow, yellow. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Here's Pollard. And power running here down to the six-yard line. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Here's Pollard again. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tony Pollard hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Chiefs add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Extra point by Butker is on target. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory, but it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side of this one. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Out of the gun, Herbert. He's got his tight end, Fryermuth, right side. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Here's Herbert. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number. And he's taken down. Safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. 